everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning February 1st, 2021. So I have been getting questions about this. If ever you want to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in any video that I put out there. But if you want a personal reading with me, go to my website at angelsouls444.com. Please make sure that you read what you are purchasing <laughs> before you get it. And of course, uh, now is a good time I would say to do it because I'm getting really caught up on them. I'm getting them sent out. So if you want to hop in line, now would be the time to do that. I also have courses over at Gumroad. It's gumroad.com slash angel souls. There are courses over there on archangels, connecting with archangels, uh, meditations, extra readings, you name it. There's a whole library of videos over there as well. So let's get into it for February 1st, 2021. This is a subtle fight. So this feels like there are things that are happening for us as individuals and also out there in the world where things are happening behind the scenes. But this isn't in like that crazy way that a lot of people might <laughs> be thinking. It's, um, you know, it's people taking their power back. And we're already seeing this evidenced in some of the uh, events that have been taking place. By the way, we have a windstorm, as always. You guys know I live in Colorado Springs, so we have windstorms and jets are flying like crazy overhead. So there's going to be some background noise, perhaps. I don't know. I never know what picks up on the mic until I edit. So <laughs> in case it picks up, there you go. All right. So when we're talking about here, uh, when we're talking about like the little guy finding his power, again, we're seeing that evidenced already. But this is happening for us as individuals as well. Now, as we say that, this is not an encouragement for us to go out there and start fighting or to rebel and do all that. There's no need for that. And that is part of the spiritual growth that is occurring right now. We're noticing we don't have to behave in that way, right? We can just, you know, start getting creative and saying, okay, if I want to create this for myself and I'm in my heart space, I'm in a good alignment, I'm in good intentions, how can I approach it? How can I take a different approach to my life? How does my changing perspective uh, make me, you know, change how I view myself, see myself differently? And how will I show up differently? Okay, so this is sparking a time, you guys know of immense change, but this is a time where it, we start to realize it's not going to be perhaps we have free wills at play all the time and people love to be dramatic about things, right? So at least where we are right now, there is the potential here to make subtle, beautiful changes peacefully, lovingly, right? And not, um, you know, not have this need to make a big show of things. Now, again, as I say this, I'm not saying necessarily, there will always be people out there who are doing shady things, um, you know, just being in their ego, just wanting to be right and just doing everything they can to prove that they are right. Um, this is more of that thing of a gentle shift. And that's really what they're calling it right now, this gentle shift. And that is what is needed the most right now. So if I can lay anything down, the most important message that we have, okay, is to focus on the heart space, no matter what is going on out there. And that doesn't mean that you don't care. It doesn't mean that you're in denial. It just means you're not contributing to a bad energy, okay? You're not going to contribute to the anger, the hate. Um, I've heard lots of people still think that their way of making change is to be in people's faces. And I'm all for information getting out there. Please put your information out there. Please let people know what your experiences are. Um, human to human, that's important, <laughs> okay? That's very important for us to share that so that we can start understanding each other better. But if you come at it with any bit of resentment, energy is energy. You can like it or don't, but energy is energy. So make sure whatever you're doing or whatever you're putting out into the world is done with a sense of love and with the real intention of wanting peace and connection, you know, heartfelt connection with other human beings. Now, people are going to disagree with that. Uh, again, you do you, but... Um, you're not helping things. <laughs> the more negativity you put out into the world, the more we're going to see it reflected. And it's going to come back to you as well as an individual. So when we have these subtle changes going on, we start to see our lives differently. We start to see where we can open up 
to another layer of our path. People are very obsessed with what's my path? What's my label? How am I supposed to be? How am I supposed to be living my existence? And I think this is really a time where you kind of go, okay, I'm going to lighten up on that a little bit. <laughs> and I'm just going to be because I know the most important job I have right now is being human and bringing peace into this world. That is the most important part. Is this a very broken society? Absolutely. Have people been treated unfairly? Absolutely. I was just thinking while I was getting ready for these videos, how often I've had to be afraid as a woman to say what's on my mind because someone could get violent with me, either verbally or physically, because they don't like what I'm saying. Okay, everybody has something that they live with, some sort of fear, some sort of uh, terror that comes our way. And if you're gonna work on anything this week, and hopefully it's not just this week, but you continue on with it, it is asking yourself, where do I act unfairly towards others? Even if you see yourself as the victim. Okay, so like if I say, okay, well, I, historically I've had some bad experiences with masculine energy. Where, where do I need to watch what I'm doing here? jumping to conclusions that that's every man. I've used that example before, okay? So, and putting hate, becoming a man hater, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to do that. Although I will say, you know, in my profession, I can share this experience with you. Um, usually when I, well, not, not all of my male clients, obviously not, I have lots of great male clients, but there have been times where when the men come and they want um, a reading, they start bossing me around and telling me how the reading's going to go and criticizing and talking down to me and saying, oh, well, it was cute how you said this, but really you're not right. And, you know, just being diminishing. So does that mean that that's just men in general? No, but I think the masculine and the feminine energies have been beaten up and conditioned. And, you know, that's just where I'm at. And that's the thing that I think I'm on this planet in part to contribute is to help people you know, break out of an abuse cycle and for us to start repairing the masculine and feminine energies and realizing that they are equal and both beautiful and need to work together, not one above the other, right? So think about that for yourself. What is it that has been your experience? How do you walk around in the world? Where do you feel like you've been treated unfairly as a human being? Can you share those experiences? That is the subtle, it's a subtle sharing. Notice the, the key word here is subtle. This subtle sharing is what is going to help people understand. And we may not see a change overnight. You're not going to see a change overnight, most likely. Okay? Unless there's some grand <laughs> divine intervention. But we can do little by little our part. Okay? We're going to be seeing much more in the way of changes in the financial system Get ready for that. That's going to be a whole thing throughout this entire year and going forward. Uh, are there going to be people acting out? There are people who already want to act out. But again, I think that if we, you know, if we're putting a good energy out there, you, you've seen this, you've seen this evidenced. And that doesn't mean that you can't go through your phase or you can't go through your moment or, you know, you're not feeling well or you're healing. You know, when people are healing from abuse and they're coming back from that, you know, you're going to have your times where you're living on the defensive or you feel like you have to have a tough exterior, you know, those sorts of things. We're not saying that you can't go through your process of healing. We definitely don't want you sidestepping or being in denial or pretending and being inauthentic. If you're not okay, say you're not okay and make sure you are reaching out to proper resources to help you get through whatever it is that you are experiencing at this time. But we are making change and that is the big thing for you guys to hear, we are making change. It's not going to look the way we thought it should. All right. It has to come from love. It, we have seen over and over and over that just like brutally getting out there and trying to force our opinions on other people. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. But what does work? Try this as an experiment. There are stores around here. <laughs> well, I don't know, like with certain things going on, you may not be able to go to a store, but there are certain stores here that I dread going to because every time I go in there, I have a weird experience with somebody. You know some of the big box stores that I'm talking about, okay? But this morning, you know, I'm always just, you know, I'm doing my best here, right? So I got up this morning, I did my meditation, and I'm like, there's the one thing I need that I can only get from that store. It's the only place that's in stock. I need it. 
Ugh. Okay, so here we go. So <laughs> I did my whole, you know, getting into my heart space and, you know, putting light around. And I go to this place and I walk in and it was downright pleasant. Okay. And this is an unusual thing for this certain place. All right. <laughs> and it was, it was lovely. And I got my stuff done and I came home and I, I just felt lighter, you know, and we can, that's just such a small example, but see where you can do that. Now, you're not going to influence everybody's free will choices. You might still be in a good energy and someone is not and they want to, what for whatever reason, you know, try to bring you down or what have you, but what's your bounce back time, all right? So you can observe that and then come right back and maybe even send them a little love as much as you can, okay? That is not the same thing as making excuses for bad behavior. We are not encouraging that. So... Don't overthink it. <laughs> Our work right now is about putting that uh, heart space uh, to work, basically opening it up, seeing what's there for you as an individual, what still needs to be healed. I've been very open uh, about sharing what shadow work I've been going through and realizing that I had still been hanging on to the remnants of traumas and abuse from my past. And so um, instead of struggling with that and saying, oh God, I can't believe I'm still not healed and throwing a fit about it. I went, oh, okay, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do myself a favor and I'm going to work on this and I'm going to love myself through the process. And what's so weird, so weird. I know, please don't get mad about this. Okay. Cause some of you out there, this might be a little triggering. Um, but for me and only for me, the more I started healing, the more I started being open to understanding what the, what the full picture of that was, which involved acknowledging that some of the uh, abuse that I had endured and the people who had abused me, they had been abused themselves. Again, that's no excuse for bad behavior, but it helped me foster an understanding so that I could let go a little bit. And it helped me go, okay, it's still inexcusable, but I, I see the pattern and now I see the bigger picture of it. And just for me personally, it helped me to forgive a little easier. And I realized where I still was holding on to resentments. Um, and in other areas of my life, I realized I was hanging on to stories the way I remembered them. And then when I opened up and said, hey, my story isn't the only side of it. And I started looking at the whole thing. You know, again, it really opened things up for me and opened my mind. So again, now I'm not saying my story is going to be everybody's story. I do not need the defensiveness in the comments. You can leave the comments. It just makes my video look more popular and it starts putting it out <laughs> on YouTube. You do whatever you want, but I'm not giving it energy. Okay, please, if you feel like you need to do more healing, now's the time to do it, guys. 2021. Let it be the year, okay? 2021 was cracking us open, right? And 2021 is looking at what is there. What are the pieces? What do I need to acknowledge about myself? Where have I been unfair? Where have I closed down and clamped down on a story and said, I'm right? And that's how it was. And I'm not considering anybody else's perspective. And I'm not just talking about abuse. I'm talking about any situation in your life. We have to start acknowledging this. This is very important, guys, because if we don't do this, if we don't start healing ourselves and acknowledging that we don't have all the answers, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are a spiritual practitioner yourself. We're all human, okay? And we have our days. <laughs> we have our days, right? We just have our days. Um, and that's okay. Subtle. Little by little. Let's get onto the cards. All right, guys, as a reminder, I said this at the top of the video, but as a reminder, if you would like a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. Now is the time to get in line. All right. And for some of you who are curious, yes, I'm the only one who does the readings. That's why, you know, it is first come, first serve. So <laughs> when I make those announcements, if everybody waits a day and then comes in a day after I announce that, well, then, you know, that's, I got to get through that day. Right, I gotta get through all those requests. But uh, if you hop on it, then you'll be one of the first ones to get your reading. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Can, what can you bring the love into? 
what can you bring the love into? Can you bring the love into yourself? Can you release yourself from the mind traps? Um, can you stretch beyond your comfort zone? <laughs> Uh, if the wind calms down a little bit after I'm done filming here, I'm going to go for my first trail run, which might actually be a sidewalk run because I really think the trails are going to be really messy and muddy and all of that. And that kind of ruins the trail if everybody's on it. Um, but yeah, you know, I mean, that's something that I've always like, always been interested in doing that. I was meant to do that back in 2020, never got around to it because of all the stuff that was going on. So I'm going to try it again today. You know, and that's going, I'm uncomfortable running in public. <laughs> I really am. I don't, I don't know. I, I guess I just don't feel fit and like whatever, but I have to get over that and I have to not worry about what other people are thinking because I want to do this. I want to try this. I want to see what my body is capable of and I want to see if I can find something to love, you know, in a way of taking care of my body. So We'll see if it's right for me. I don't know. Let's see how my joints feel, my <laughs> quads and everything tomorrow. All right, so the first card out here is a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. So when we are balanced, fair, kind, we're listening to the other perspective. And that's a big message here that everybody loves to fight. I don't want to hear the other person's side. They don't get a voice. We have to, guys, energy is energy. And if, you, if we get into a self-righteous place, we're not going to get anywhere. Okay, um, it, it's just going to tumble our energy even lower and we don't come to a place of peace. We're not in a place of balance. Remember what I said about the masculine and feminine energies. We need to balance those out as well. So whatever it is that we're facing, we can come to a win-win outcome if we just stop thinking that our perspective is the only perspective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. I done told you, okay? <laughs> Look at the bigger picture. We have to rise out of our stories, these things that we swirl around in and we think this is just how it's going to be and this is the inevitable outcome. And, you know, we can't move forward from this. Or whatever it is that we're telling ourselves, now's the time to break free of that, to reevaluate. Uh, isn't Mercury retrograde now? I think so. Sorry, I'm not an astrologer, whatever. Um, <laughs> so we can, you know, recuperate even and figure out where we can lay down competition in favor of cooperation. Remember, everybody out there is a brother or sister, or let's just say sibling to you, okay? To me, to all of us. We need to love one another. And that's just not like some little spiritual thing that you throw out there so you could sell a self-help book, okay? I mean it, okay? <laughs> we need to start loving each other and being good to one another because everything that we see in the way of anger and fear and wanting to get at everybody else, it has to do with uh, pain. Pain. I've been saying for forever, we don't treat our children right. People are either doing this worship of their kids and saying, my kid knows everything and blah, 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 blah. And that kid ends up going out there really missing the point of life and thinking that, they know everything and everything they do is perfect. Uh, or we are yelling in front of our kids or God forbid, it, God forbid, the darker stuff. You know, like the kids don't need it. <laughs> Nobody needs it, but uh, like we need to stop this nonsense. Okay. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s and it was the milk carton generation. And yet we were still just going outside and playing by ourselves. And, you know, I mean, what I'm getting at here is like there has been a long standing, uh, got to watch my language here, messed up thing where we are not in a balanced way honoring and protecting the kids. And we need to do that now. And even if you're not a parent, you could do that through your energy. Okay. I think of myself as every child's mama in, in some sense, even though I don't have kids of my own, I'm always sending energy out to the kids and making sure they're protected and wherever they are, let them know that they're loved. Okay. Please do the same. Please, please put that out to the kids. Because remember, those kids are going to become adults, okay? And we don't want them to be growing up in this space of pain. You know, again, balance, letting them know that, hey, stuff happens in life and it's not always going to be perfect. But here is a way to cope in a healthy way, you know, this sort of thing, okay? And you are loved and appreciated. All right, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Look at this. Talk about all the balancing. So this talks about not being... One of those spiritual people, supposed spiritual people, who is like, I would disconnect from everything. I, you know what? Listen, I'll run away and live on a beach somewhere or in the mountains and not actually have to deal with anything. How about that? 
<laughs> if you're one of those people, great, good for you. But for the rest of us who are trying to still, you know, whatever our path is, we have to be in it, right? I know everywhere I've ever moved, it's always been to a place where something tragic has happened. I moved to LA shortly after the LA riots. Uh, LA had just had a huge earthquake. This was the OJ Simpson era, okay? Uh, and I moved and the tensions were awful, okay? It took nothing to get people to talk about what they had experienced. When I moved to New York City, it was two years after 9-11. And I weirdly ended up in graduate student housing, like I think it was like two blocks away. Where did I live? William Street, I lived on William Street and it was just a couple blocks away from what was then the pit. And people were still putting flyers up asking for, you know, information on their missing loved ones. There were people down in that pit who were bucket by bucket going through things. I mean, you know, and then I can't I come to Colorado Springs. And as soon as I moved here, there were some, <clears throat> excuse me, some horrible things happening here as well. Uh, they had just gone through two major fires, the Black Forest Fire and the Waldo Canyon Fire. And uh, there were some people here who were acting out in terrible ways, not because of the fire, but I'm saying separately, they were acting out. So I find myself getting drawn into that and having to do whatever work I'm supposed to show up and do and help with or whatever. So I wonder how many of you have that same kind of um, experience. But remember, we have to, anything that we do, it has to be done um, in a practical sense. So we can't get off into these stories about how special we are because we're from this place or that place or, you know, whatever. We're all here to do the work and to help humanity by being a part of it and even seeing the ugly underbelly of it or seeing the aftermath of tragedies. If, if you're somebody who's really here to do that, like, you know, uh, bringing the light and really trying to help humanity, you might find yourself, just as I explained, getting into those situations where you're really seeing how ugly things can get, or you're really seeing pain. All right. Our final card before we get onto the color card is emotions are running high super moon. So what is happening is we are seeing a lot of um, people some people are trying to heal. Let's put it that way. And so their stuff is coming up to the surface for it to be cleared away. So remember the balancing, the balancing. And even if people are out there trying to act out and really trying to scare everybody, you know, everybody's trying to get in on the drama, trying to seem like super powerful. Remember to look at the bigger picture. That's the story that's playing out in these cards here to look at the bigger picture and to remain balanced no matter what. Okay, so there is that portion. Let's get the color card. All right. There it is. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I pulled this card back when the Paris shootings happened. Someone pointed out that the photo that was going around on Facebook was like, this is a silhouetted tree. It was uh, the Eiffel Tower that was silhouetted. And whenever this card comes out, it does not guarantee that something bad's going to happen. Okay. Um, but this is, this could be taken as shadow work. This could be taken as you seriously, we all need to take a serious look at ourselves and ask ourselves what we're putting out there. Okay. What are we contributing to the collective. This card is black. Find riches from the dark of night. The number is 28. Um, you know, sometimes when this comes out, it can indicate that someone or a group or something is acting out in a big way. All right. So should you be scared? No. Should you be tuned into your intuition? Absolutely. Should you be making the best of whatever is? Absolutely. Should you listen to your instincts if, if they tell you to stay away from a certain place? Absolutely. Or keep your kids home from school? Absolutely. Oh, I'll say that again. Fight me on it. <laughs> if you feel like you need to keep your kids home from school, you do it. All right? You do it. You listen to your intuition. Let's pull another card because that's a little, we don't want to just leave it there. <laughs> right? Let's see what else. Can we get clarity on that, please? That makes sense why they're really driving home to maintain everybody's energies, um, to stay calm. the other one okay gray learn to scan your body the number is 29 
reduces to 11, which is a master number. Listen, so we have gray and we have black. These might feel like very troublesome times, but if you're somebody who's like, oh my God, I'm so scared. I wish I hadn't listened to this. Ugh, no, 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 clear that out. Knock that off <laughs> as much as you can, okay? No, this is asking you to listen to your body. And that's what I was just saying. If if I'm walking, see, I never went, Um, what is it, one... Was it? Well, it's the what, the Freedom Tower. Why can't I get that out? The Freedom Tower in New York City. I was there while that was uh, being built, and I so I saw. I never got to see the World Trade Center, the towers, but um, I saw the pit, which we called the pit. I don't know. It's what we called it. And um, I was there when the the tower, the Freedom Tower, went up, and I could not bring myself to go in there. Why? I was scared. I was scared. And um, there's too much energy there. You guys know that. And I was afraid to go to the top of the Empire State Building. I've never done that either. And I lived in New York City for over 12 years. You know, spent a good chunk of my adult life there. And I was too afraid. And it's not that anything happened, um, you know, while I was there. But, you know, there are certain places I did not go because I did not have a good feeling about it. Uh, when I first moved to Colorado Springs, I've told this story before, so if you've heard it before, forgive the repeat. But uh, when I first moved here, I was going to go to a bank downtown. And uh, I didn't know my way around yet. So I had my GPS and, I'm trying, and I could not get this bank to come up on my GPS. And I got really frustrated, threw the thing down. I'm like, you know what? This stinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do, right? When things are going our way, we're like, you know what? Why does everything got to be so hard? Later on, it turns out that there was a person um, going around doing awful things. Some of you will know what I'm talking about. This would have been, I think this was, I think this would have been Halloween-ish 2015 in Colorado Springs. So you know what, some of you know what happened or you can guess what was happening, but there was somebody who was dangerous and they were running around downtown doing awful things to people. And that was not lost on me. The fact that I couldn't make my way downtown, I had to go elsewhere. As a matter of fact, the place I ended up going and was guided to was far away from that incident. And I don't know, I think I was spared. But the thing was, is even in that moment, I was more frustrated than anything, <laughs> but I definitely felt the block. I felt like there was a block there. And even though I had my human moment of frustration, I still went, yeah, but okay, okay, this stinks, but there's gotta be some reason for it. And then later on, I figured out what was going on. So these are entirely times where we need to be the peacekeepers. We need to be, you know, bringing the light, bringing the love that does not guarantee that there won't be things going on. I cannot sit here and tell you what people are going to choose in their free will. I know we have so many expectations, don't we? Mostly in people saying, I can come out and tell you exactly what's going to happen in the future. No, they can't. Try me. No, they can't. <laughs> no, they can't. We have free will. We have free will. And someone can always make a decision. Okay. And the angels and the archangels that watch over us here, that have sort of been assigned to us, if you want to see it that way, they have been instructed, and most of you know this, to not interfere with human free will. And so the only thing that they ever do is kind of come in with the guidance and the, they hope that you're open to it. And they'll give you feelings. Stay away from there. Or they will, you know, if your ego consciousness is <laughs> like me, I was on my to-do list that day and I just had to get to the bank. And why is that? You know, I'm not paying attention. just trying to get my GPS to work. And they made it so that the GPS wasn't going to bring up the address. So I couldn't go that direction. Now, if you're a more logistically minded person, I have those people in my audience. Hi, welcome, who are atheists, who uh, like to hear the sound of my voice. And thank you. I think that's a high compliment. <laughs> I really appreciate that. So if you're a little more logistically minded, um, you know, you can see this just, you know, whatever kind of scientific way, it's a coincidence or whatever. Yeah, okay, fine. Then follow the coincidence. All right. If you and have appreciation for what you call a coincidence. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. You know, again, leave your comments down below. If we need to check in on one another throughout the week, we can definitely do that. We'll just see what happens, see what kind of energy is floating around, but it's up to us to try to keep it all peaceful. So have a good week. Sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye. <music>